Hey, Morton here from LinkedIn Learning. Uh, this week I'm working on a new course about variable fonts. It's something I'm really excited about and I want to show you a quick preview of why this is so interesting. So you know how when you add fonts to a site, if you're using any kind of web font that you're adding to the site, you have to then load in the types of fonts you want. So if you want normal size and maybe bold and italicized and italicized bold, then you have to load in what? One, two, three, four, maybe five different font weights. And that means individual files that get loaded into the computer, which takes up a lot of resources when it gets loaded down. It's really cumbersome. Well, what if you didn't have to do that anymore? What if the font was just a single font and then you could specify exactly how bold you wanted or how thin you wanted or how much slant you wanted or how thick you wanted the font to be and wide and everything else? You can with this new thing called variable fonts. I'm gonna show you two quick previews. So here we have the um, font weight axis for a variable font. So this is the uh, font weight axis set to one. So that's the thinnest this font will ever get. If I now increase the value, you'll see here as the value goes up, the font gets thicker or bolder all the way up to the max boldness up here at 900. So instead of having several different fonts with several different font weights. We just have one font and then we can set the weight with any number between one and 900. Now, in addition, you have other axes like the one called optical size, which allows you to define the optical size of any of these glyphs. So you can see right now, the glyphs are pretty thick. So there's a lot of pixel ink for each of these glyphs. But because this font is now so bold, I can bring this optical size value up. And as you can see, it gets sort of thinner. If you look at, for instance, the lines here up at the top and bottom of the O, when I bring up this number, you can see that it gets thinner here and it gets easier to read. So as we bring up the boldness of the font, we can then bring up the optical size of the font and therefore we get a much nicer font. Oh, these are just two examples. Um, the variable fonts have five registered axes and then an endless number of custom axes any font developer can add. So this is really the future of fonts on the web. Customizable um, variable fonts where you can set the font to display exactly as you want and you can load one font to serve as many different purposes as you like. Cool, eh? Stay tuned for the course.